All right, Dr. Nguyen here. I want to talk to you about how cavities start. So here we have a very large cavity on this tooth reaching into the nerve and actually extending to the root aspect of the tooth. Now, this patient elects for the tooth to be extracted, does not want to attempt to save the crown or the tooth with a root canal and a crown. So how do cavities start? It's very simple. There are no secrets in dentistry, okay? In terms of plaque control, that's what we're really going after. So you can think of plaque like honey on a wall. If you have honey on a wall and you try to shoot a water pick at it or you throw some Listerine at that honey, the honey's not going anywhere, okay? It may be agitated, it may move around a bit, but it's not going to move away from the wall. It's not going to be debrided from the wall. So What's important is that you use a mechanical debridement technique, whether it be proxy brushes, whether it be brushing your teeth, and most importantly, flossing in order to remove that honey off of that wall. That's what's going to be your best bet when it comes to reducing the cavity rate. There are many other factors that may cause cavities, whether it be dry mouth or history of methamphetamine use, but what really is a problem is controlling that plaque, making sure that that plaque is off of your teeth for the majority of the day. And if there is plaque on your teeth, making sure to remove it as soon as you can. Okay, so these cavities and this pain that you're going to feel once the cavity reaches your nerve does not get to the point where you have to extract a tooth. Thank you and take care.